telescope was invented by a Dutch optician four centuries ago. Before that, it was believed the Earth was the center of everything. The theory that it actually revolved around the Sun was discounted. In the hands of Italian astronomer Galileo, the telescope brought reality into focus. This molded disk of thick, low-expansion glass will become the telescope's primary mirror. A diamond-edged tool rotates on a calculated tilt to make the glass slightly concave. Okay, if you don't know what a concave mirror does, a concave mirror can distort images. It'll make a circle appear to be spherical if used correctly, okay? Telescopes have a combination of convex lenses and concave mirrors that distort the celestial objects that you are seeing in the sky. This distortion caused by the concave mirrors and the convex lenses and the aberrations caused by the light being reassembled in the eye itself makes it to where you can't even see the stars for what they actually are, okay? This is what the stars look like without being distorted by these particular mirrors and lenses. Of course, there are going to be people in the comments saying stars look like this because they are so far away. And you should be asking them, how the hell would you know, okay? If they're so far away and nobody can reach them, they're light years and, and, and galaxies away, how would you know, okay? That would then be pseudoscience. That would be you speculating because that would then be a claim that cannot be tested. But what can be tested are the convex and concave mirrors and lenses that are used inside telescopes and what effect they might have on the object that you are viewing with them. The footage you are looking at now are the celestial bodies being viewed through a device that does not use the same principles as a telescope. It does not have the concave mirrors and convex lenses that would distort the image you're looking at, making a circle appear to be spherical like this footage here taken from a high-end, high-powered telescope that also uses software to translate the image that you're looking at into what you see on the screen. That right there should be a red flag to you that the image has to go through some level of processing to show you what you want to see. Like I tell you guys all the time, space is not a real place. It was brought to you by the same people that brought you Star Wars, same people that brought you satellites, okay? The stars are attached to the firmament, okay?